Hello everyone. What I would like to do now is discuss three uh, examples for loan problems that are similar to uh, the homework in chapter three in Broverman's Mathematics of Investment and Credit. So the first problem is similar to 3.2.4 in the book and that is find when the outstanding balance of a 30-year loan with effective annual interest 5% and level payments first falls below 15% of the original loan amount. Okay, so let's do this problem here. So first of all, let's write out what the um, original loan amount actually is. So, um, right, so this is a 30 year uh, loan, okay? Uh, we don't know what the level payments are. Let's say K are the level payments. So as usually you pay K at the end of each year. So the loan amount, as usual, is just gonna be K, it's just a present value of the loan which is K, a 30-year 30, 30 loan at 5%, and that's going to be, uh, we don't really need to be too careful because we are going to uh, solve for T ultimately and round up. We'll get the, we're trying to find the first uh, year, at the end of the first year where, um, the outstanding balance falls below 15% of the original loan amount. Okay, so, uh, right, we don't really need to be too careful. Again, we'll just round uh, up whatever answer we get to get an actual year answer. Okay, so this is going to be 15.37K. So 15% uh, of the original loan amount Original. Well, you're just going to take L, which is the original loan amount, times 0.15. So it's 1537K times um, 0.15, and this gives you 2. Point Three zero five five, and you can round. You can round um, to the nearest decimal, whatever doesn't really matter. Okay, so right, so we have that one easy but important piece of information for this problem. Okay. Okay, so let's write out what the outstanding balance is. And because we have level payments, we know that it's just the loan amount uh, times, well, interest is 5%, so 1.05 to the T minus um, whatever K is, the level payments, ST.0. Well, we know what L is. We just got it a second ago, 15.37 K. Okay, so um, you can factor out a K or factor it out uh, in a little bit. I guess there's no reason not to factor it out immediately. All right, so let's write out what this is. Uh, just the usual standard formula for um, the accumulated value for an annuity immediate. Uh, so it's gonna be, uh, put this in parentheses, 1.05 to the T minus one over 0.05. Now I picked the interest rate of 0.05 for this example because one over 0.05 is just 20. So this is going to be 
k times, uh, so let me do something first to make life a lot easier. Um, let's call this whole thing here x. Okay, so this is 15.37x minus 20. Well, this is x minus 1. And again, 1 over 0 0.05 is 20. And so this becomes uh, k um, well, uh, let's see, 15.37. Well, let me just, uh, yeah, sorry about that. So this is going to be um, 20 minus uh, 4.63x. Okay, so we're going to set this to be 15% of the original loan amount. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so let's do that. Okay, so, um, right, what we just had a second ago, K times 20 minus... Um, 4.63x equals, well, we just had, uh, uh, oops, anyway, 15% of the original loan amount is 0 0.3055k. Uh, sorry, 2. Point 3055k. So we just uh, cancel out a k. All right. So we get 20 minus 4.63x equals 2.3055. Oh and you uh, just simply, um, yeah, you just solve for x. You know that x is going to be 3.82. I should mention, um, when we do this, we're assuming interest is not going to be capitalized so that um, as you go further into the loan, you are guaranteed to uh, be reducing your outstanding balance. So whatever answer we get, when we round up, we are assuming that that will be actually the first time that um, the original loan amount, yeah, sorry, the outstanding balance is uh, below 15%. Now we, we round up and we're assuming as we go up, um, you know, we're basically going to um, reduce the outstanding balance. So, <clears throat> okay. So when we solve for uh, T in the previous year, we're, you know, maybe a little bit uh, above 15% of the original loan amount for the outstanding balance. And when we round up, we're, um, you know, we're, we're just, uh, you know, we're, we're a little bit below 15%. You know, that's the first year of payment where we're below that 15% for the outstanding balance. Anyway, um, right, so, right, so remember what X is. Well, we said it to be 1.05 to the T. Okay, so I guess I'll keep this in red. Uh, not that it matters, but so you get T is LN 3.82 over LN 1.05, and that is 
So your answer is after 28 years, or, or in other words, after 28 payments, um, that is when you first have an outstanding balance, uh, less than 15% of the original loan amount. Okay, so let's go do another problem. Okay, so this one is similar to 3.2.7. So Iggy borrows X for 10 years at 7%. If he pays the principal and accumulated uh, interest in one lump sum at the end of 10 years, then he would have paid 400 more in interest than he would have with 10 level payments. And so here I, I should make clear that when we say this, uh, we're just adding up all the interest, um, not time valued. Find X. Okay. All right. So uh, let's go to the whiteboard to a new page. Okay. So let's first get the total interest paid um, if the loan is paid in one lump sum. Okay, so as I explained, uh, as I explain in uh, the hint for this problem, this is pretty straightforward. Uh, the loan amount, let's say, is, um, well, we said it was X. Iggy borrows X. Okay. So, um, right. So what's the interest paid on this loan? Well, uh, at the end of 10 years, at 7%, you owe X times 1.07 to the 10th. That's literally the loan value at the end of 10 years, and hence that's how much you owe, okay? Well, the interest is um, this amount minus the amount you got at the start, which is X, okay? It's just how much you owe at the end of 10 years minus how much you got at the beginning of the loan. And so this is just simply, um, you know, uh, it's just going to be x times 1.07 to the 10th minus 1, and plop this into your calculator, you get 0 0.96715 uh, times x. Okay. Um, okay, so let's now do the uh, same except with level payments. Now let's say the level payments are K. So first of all, well, what is K? Well, um, Right, so as always, if you're paying off a loan with level payments, then the present value of those level payments is the loan amount. The loan price, the same thing. So X, the loan amount, is your level payments. Well, present value of these level payments of K. So at 7%, it's K A10.07. And so that means K is going to be X over a 10.07. And that is going to be 0.14238 times, see if I can squeeze it in just barely, 0.14238 X, okay? 
And why did I get this? Well, we have a formula for the um, sum of the interest payments when you have level payments, and that is K N, K times parentheses N minus, just 10 here, A N uh, time A N J. Okay, and um, right, you can just figure this out. This is going to be um, 0.14 plugging in for K, 238K. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, this is X here. Don't know why I put, uh, don't know why I put K here, but it should be an X. Kind of silly on my part. Two, three, eight. Right. So it's point one four two three eight X. So let me get rid of this K here. Uh, let me get rid of the red. Again, if there's any confusion, this is what K is, is 0.14238X. Okay, so just plugging in for K, that's all. And then this is going to be 10, whoops, that doesn't matter as much, but 10 minus A10.07, and you get 0.42378x. Okay, so we're almost done here. So we're given that if you, uh, the total interest if you paid uh, in one lump sum, <clears throat> which we said was 0.96715x, is going to be 400 more than if you, uh, than the sum of the interest if you made level payments, which we computed as 0.4237x, okay? So now all you do is solve for x, which remember is a loan amount, which is exactly what we needed, and it's 7, 3, 6, and 15 cents. Okay. And again, what I have on the left here is the uh, interest paid if you paid off the loan at the end of 10 years in one lump sum. What I have on the right is 400 plus the total interest paid if you use if you paid with level payments, and we're given that um, what's on the left is 400 more than um, the total interest making level payments. Okay, so let's finally do 3.2.8s, or rather uh, a problem similar to that. So you pay off a 30-year loan with constant installments plus interest at the end of each year. So what I mean by that is you are basically paying off this 30-year loan with um, payments at the end of each year that cover that year's interest plus constant um, principal. So you're, you're paying off at the end of each year the year's interest, uh, and additionally, you're paying uh, some constant amount of principal at the end of each year. If I is 7%, then find the original loan amount if the sum of payments, the total non-time value sum of the payments is 700,000. Okay, so uh, this problem is a bit of a pain, but it's really not too bad. So the key to this problem is remembering uh, a fact here from a fact that you definitely learned in calculus, 
And that is if you add up 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, plus all the way up to some integer t, what's given by t, t plus 1 over 2. Okay, so let's put this to good use. Let's say L is the loan amount. So I did in the previous problem use X as the loan amount, but that's because in 327S they also use X. Um, I personally like to use L for loan amount, but anyway, that doesn't really matter. Okay, so uh, this is a 30 year loan and interest is 7%. So we have a formula for the payments when you are making constant principal payments at the end of each um, year and you're paying in full that year's interest. And that formula is, it's L over N. Well, we don't know what the loan amount is, but that's okay. Don't really, uh, well, we're gonna find that out in a second. <clears throat> okay, so, um, right, so this is going to be, it's, I, L times I. So I'll just put the 0 0.07 first. And uh, rather it's, it's um, sorry, it's I times L minus LT over N. All right, so let me just factor out the L here. Okay, so it's going to be L. This is going to be, uh, sorry about that. So it's one minus um, T over 30, if I factor out the L. Okay, so let me distribute let me factor out the L entirely. No reason not to. So it's 1 over 30 plus 0 0.07 minus 0 0.07 T over 30. All right, so let me write this here, kind of multiply and divide by 30. And the reason is so I can factor out a 1 over 30. So I get L over 30. So this is just 1. This is going to be 30 times 0 0.07, which is 2.1 minus 0 0.07t. And this is just going to be L over 30 times 3.1, just 1 plus 2.1, minus 0 0.07t, okay? And remember that this is this whole thing here is k t plus 1, okay? All right, so what we're given is that the sum of all these payments, non-time valued, is 700,000. So t equals one to uh, 30, okay, t. Let's write that as t equals zero to 29, k t plus one, because I have kt plus one right here. All right, just plop this in here. And I, I won't skip steps here uh, so that we're all on the same page. So 
Certainly you can factor out the L over 30. So on a quiz or exam, and this is definitely exam or quiz worthy, you can skip some steps in doing the, the arithmetic here, but anyway. Okay, so factor out the L over 30. T equals zero to 29 um, of 3.1 minus 0.07t, break this up into uh, two sums. Uh, sorry. So let's factor out the point, uh, well, I'll just, Write it like this. Okay, well here you're just adding 3.1 up 30 times. So you get 30 times 3.01, but that cancels this uh, 30 here. So really, um, well, so it's just 30 over 30. So you just get 3.1L. So here I can bring out the minus 0 0.07. So let's uh, make this a plus. You know, let's get rid of uh, all of this here. So it's just T here. Okay, so this is going to be, well, we have a formula for this. It's uh, 29 times 30 all over two, okay? Okay, and uh, this is simply going to be after you, um, uh, sorry, this should be uh, a minus. I, uh, yeah, I can't magically get rid of the, uh, um, I think I may have screwed up writing a little bit, but anyway, uh, this is definitely a minus. Um, so if I did screw up, it's, yeah, anyway. Yeah, so I think I put two minuses accidentally. Um, but anyway, this is going to be just minus 0.07, factor that out. So I got the L over 30. Uh, so this is a minus. Okay, and so this simply becomes 2.085L. Okay, and remember, well, uh, I don't know, let's use blue here. That was 700,000. Okay, so all you do is divide by that number, 2.085. Uh, 2.085, and so this is a 335,731.41 loan. Okay, so yeah, pretty, uh, so yeah, typical loan amount for a mortgage, and in this example, at 7% interest, the total amount of payments you're going to make in the long run is 700,000, which is well over two times the original loan amount. But that's, you know, that's what you got to do to pay off uh, interest in this example. Um, okay, well, hopefully that made sense. Uh, and um, 
yeah, um, hopefully this helps in the homework. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, so long, take care, and um, yeah, until next time.